Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today I'm going to show you how to eat jackfruit seeds or how to cook jackfruit seeds. There's a variety of ways to cook them. I'm just going to show you one of the most popular ways, which is to boil them. And then my little spin on it, yeah, I haven't really seen a lot of people do this, is I will actually, after I boil it, and then you can eat them right then, I'm going to fry them up almost like making hash browns with it. And so a couple, two different ways, boiling and then frying. Really easy to do, simple ingredients. If I can do it, you can do it. And if you haven't seen my video on jackfruit, how to open it up and um, how to dig out the fruit on the inside, check out that video as well. Let's get started. Before we move on, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. So right here I have a bowl with some jackfruit seeds and all we need to do is take it over to the stovetop and boil these up. Okay, I have the heat on the burner set to high and I have my pot just shy of half full with water and I'm going to take my seeds and I'll just put those right in there. And we want to bring this water to a boil. And I will add, also add about between a fourth of a teaspoon and a half a teaspoon of salt to the water. And once it starts to boil, turn the heat down to medium. And we'll just cover it and let it cook for 15 to 20 minutes until um, they are for, fork tender. All right, I am going to remove the lid and I'm going to test one of these with a fork. See how fork tender it is. Kind of hard to get them sometimes. I'm gonna let it go for about five more minutes. It's a little bit too hard. And I'll just leave it uncovered for about five minutes. And you'll notice some of the white membrane part of the shell has fallen off, which is really good. That's what we want because we don't want to eat that. And you can kind of skim them out as this is boiling or we're going to get rid of them later also when we cool them. All right, I'm going to Try one of these. Great. That went in fairly easy. Good. So I'm going to turn the heat off. And then I will take it over here to the colander and we'll pour them out. And then once they are drained, let them cool a bit until I can handle them. 15, 20, 30 minutes, something like that. All right, and once they are cool enough to handle, then you want to remove um, the outer membrane. It was that white part that was on the before. And sometimes it's easier than others to remove it. But you want to peel it off you don't have to worry about the brown part as much. But that part is edible. It doesn't taste as good, but definitely want to get the white part off. So this part can be a little tedious. It's nice when they fall off during boiling. <laughs> but see that part right there? We want to remove that. And then you can try to remove the, the brown part if you want, or just leave it like this. And so now you could eat this like this, and a lot of people just stop right there and then they eat it like this. And to me, the taste is kind of like a mix between a chickpea and a potato. A little bit of a starchy taste, not a very strong, starchy taste. You can just like put some salt on there after you peel them 
and just eat them like a snack. Or what you could do is after they're all, after you get the shell and peeled them, then you can fry them, which is what I'm going to do. But they're definitely ready to eat just as they are right now. So again, just remove as much of the peel as you can. You don't have to worry too much about the, the brown parts, but sometimes they come off really easy, like that one came off really easy. An easy way to get that outer uh, membrane or shell off of that seed is to just come in here and cut it in half like that. And then if you just kind of squeeze it, it'll come right out of there. And sometimes it'll pull even that brown part. Um, but the brown part's fine to eat as well. But it comes off really easy if you do it that way. Instead of trying to like use your fingernails and dig around and pull it off. See if you just pinch it like that, see how it comes away from, from the seed. All right, and now they are all completely peeled. I did leave some brown on some of them and some of them, the brown came off really easy. It doesn't really matter about the brown. It's totally edible and it, it's not that big of a difference if you eat it, but you did definitely have to get that other shell, which is like this one. You have to get that one off because that's kind of really hard to eat and not appetizing at all. So there we go. And then, like I said, you could just sprinkle this with some salt and eat it just like that, or take it over to the stovetop and fry it up. All right, I have my skillet here and I have the temperature set to medium. And I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. You could use coconut oil, vegetable oil, do a little more. You could do clarified butter. Just use your favorite cooking oil, depending on how healthy you wanna be. So I'm gonna let that oil heat up. And once the oil heats up, I'm gonna pour these right in there. You could also saute onions first. Cook some onions first before putting these in. And I'm essentially gonna just treat these like a potato. And they're already cooked and ready to go. And now I'm just going to saute them a little bit, fry them up a little bit. And you just get a little bit of color, a little bit brown color on there, just to give it a nice little flavor. And then I'll put in some salt. and some pepper. And you could add some paprika right now too, if you wanted to. And a little bit of garlic powder. I guess the healthiest way to eat these would have been to just eat them plain without frying them in any kind of an oil. <laughs> but this is a great way to kind of mix it up a little. All right, so I sauteed these for about eight minutes. And you can see like this one is like brown and I can tell that it's kind of crispy. They don't all need to be like that, but it's just nice to get a little bit of color on these. Okay, and now I can remove, turn the heat off. And then what I can do is I can just kind of tilt my pan and just allow that excess oil to drain. You could also scoop these onto like a paper towel, a couple of sheets of paper towel to dry them that way. I just kind of do the angle method like this. And then I will take these off and put them on a plate. And that is how I prepare jackfruit seeds to eat. Really easy, it is tedious, it takes a bit of time, but if you're one that doesn't like to throw away things like seeds, especially if they're edible, 
then this is how you can prepare them. You could just boil them and add a little bit of salt and eat them that way. Or after you boil them, you can fry them up. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down in the corner, press it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into this. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Definitely a mixture between a potato and a chickpea and even like a chestnut, kind of all those mixed together and that's kind of what you got.